Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Frost Battles. I hope you used the break in order to grab yourself a nice cozy blanket or something like that because our next match is going to be cool. It's going to be Maverick and Odemian firsting off versus Two Beers and I am Ton. And let's check out these guys. Let's just listen to what they got to say. I'm quickly jumping into Maverick and Odemian. Hello guys, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Hey, I can see you. It's working perfectly. I can see you and I can hear you. That's uh, not always the case. Oh, perfect. <laughs> great. Great. Uh, yeah, so Maverick, you're from Belgium. Odemian, you're from France. Tell us a little bit about the story. How did you guys find your way together? Uh, you want to start? Sure. Uh, I mean, Maverick was, uh, apart from the pretty early beginning of uh, Millennium Team, which was uh, like the really the basis of Hearthstone in France for like 2014 and a good part of 2015 as well. And so at some point, I just um, I had some good performances on the French scene and uh, I made friends with a couple people from Millennium, including Maverick. And so I ended up joining the team at some point. Hmm. So that's how we that's how we met each other. Yeah, I, yeah, basically that's it. I can still remember. I saw Maverick at the uh, Seed Story Cup three, if I remember that correctly, and also I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, did you still remember that? Did you still remember that? <laughs> oh, of course. Like, I, yeah. I think I don't remind anything. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's quite unusual because sometimes I was I was still uh, very unknown at that uh, day, and I still am. So uh, it's not always uh, a thing that everybody remembers everybody. But yeah, I also know that uh, the reason why you both guys are here is that uh, you have an awesome uh, scene in France. You have a big Hearthstone scene. You have a lot of people watching. And that's exactly the reason why we got in touch with you. So uh, what would you say makes the French Hearthstone scene so special? Is there something that really makes it outstanding or how would you guys see it? Uh, probably the fact that our English is sucks. So <laughs> they, so like in France in general, so they, they really love to hear us uh, speaking French during streams. Yeah, that that's one part. And the second part is we have this culture that has been going on in esports for a really long time in France. It's the culture of the what we call the TV. It's like a whole group of streamers get together and they they have a 24-7 kind of programming going mm. on, which doesn't uh, they don't do as much on the international level. And we do that a lot in France. And so I guess that differentiates us a bit from uh, the other the other people. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I never watched it out of the standpoint, but uh, I, I know that French people really don't like talking any other language than French, but this might be a big part to why there's such an, a nice Hearthstone scene in, in, in France. Uh, Maverick, it looks like you're not at home. Actually, where are you, if I may ask? Uh, I'm in the same place like, as Odemian, actually. We're just not in the same room, but okay. I'm in the uh, Arma team office. All right, looks looks good. Uh, it, yeah, it's really in good. Terms of I have Mal yeah, just Malfurion behind me. Oh, <laughs> there's the Druid. Probably your ban, uh, because we have just seen it uh, being open one of the matches already. And that already leads to the preparation. So was there anything special about the preparation? Because uh, it's always it's, it's it can be difficult to bring two Hearthstone players together and to really agree to bringing one lineup to the tournament. How did you guys do that? Uh, okay, if I'm going honest here, we were drinking <laughs> and we were like, okay, let's bring this and this and no, basically the metagame is kind of figured out, so it was not that difficult to know what kind of deck we wanted to play. It was more about the tech cards and stuff. Mm, I see. Okay, so you've been drinking out. That has been your preparation. You both guys uh, sitting in a bar and <laughs> thinking about Hearthstone. Is that something you do yeah, regularly? <laughs> Yeah, actually, we do. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the concept of Hearthstone, right? Playing in yeah, definitely. Tavern. That's it. Uh, do you meet the innkeeper there, or is it the official Hearthstone tavern, something like that? <laughs> quite, no, quite cool. That's really yeah. So uh, let's go over your lineup. So Druid, Paladin, Priest, Shaman. Uh, why did you pick a Shaman over a Mage? Uh, I just feel like that uh, Pirate Warrior and the Merlock Paladin are strong at the moment. A lot of people could bring this, and the uh, Shaman is just strong against both of them. Yeah, and just Doppel Evolve is one of the combination of cards that can pretty much beat anything. So 
I don't know. The deck just feels kind of good, to be honest. All right, I see. If there was something you could say to your opponents, which uh, obviously are Germans, do you know these guys? Do you know Tubius and Tan? Maverick. Uh, I've heard of them, but I don't know them personally. Okay. I know Tubius, a uh, huge streamer in Germany. Uh, I know him from uh, Arena streaming. And uh, I saw I am Tan uh, a lot of times in during Seed Cups, for example, he's covering the, the event in Germany. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Odemian, any experiences with the German Hofstein scene on your side? Um, not really. I mean, I've got to talk to them from time to time, but nothing really uh, ongoing, to be okay, honest. Okay, if you got to say something to them right now, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> oh really oh nice <laughs> german skills few glück that's very polite all right guys so thanks for that little interview you can get ready if you want to uh, i'm gonna tell tan and tubers to get ready as well after a quick interview with them and then we're good to go so thanks a lot guys and maybe see you after the match see you see you all right, ladies and gentlemen, and that leads us to i am tan and two beers our german team how are you guys doing today Hey Marvin, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, Marvin. <laughs> I'm fine as well, man. Uh, nice. It's my first uh, online pro tourney, so I'm pretty pumped for it. Oh yeah, looking oh. good. You're. Are you in a new flat? It looks uh, a little bit spacious behind you, Tan. Yeah, it's it's pretty empty, but so uh, yeah, I can full fully focus to. Uh, in Hearthstone, so <laughs> it's fine. All right, so uh, you you guys, you've been watching the stream, uh, you've been in the Twitch chat already, and you know that I always ask uh, the teams what they would say to one another. And uh, what would you guess that Odemian and Maverick want to say to you? Would it be something, uh, maybe something more like going into a fight, or would it be something polite, or what would you guess? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know them in person, but yeah, I think they're good sportsmanship. So yeah, what I they said was like actually fun. feel glück. So that's very polite. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. If they said it in German, yeah. Yeah, they said it in German. <laughs> so they were really getting. They were winning the hearts of the audience by that. I think because a lot of people already are <laughs> wishing Ton uh, to lose this match. So what would what? you guys reply to, to to really top that? Go, Toby. <laughs> okay, so putting a one chance, <laughs> one chance, <laughs> one chance. <laughs> All right, not bad. So the same <laughs> reply going out here. Uh, also talking yeah. about your lineup just quickly before we start the match. So uh, I was just explaining that it might be difficult to bring two Hearthstone players together and both of them to agree to one lineup. Uh, did you have any difficulties on that, or how did you do it? Yeah, it it was pretty easy. Um, I had a lot of success with this lineup before in cash turn tourneys and like some uh, some scrims. So I just like suggested to two beers, and he was he agreed. So yeah, it wasn't and that difficult. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we had almost the same idea for the lineup, so I trust Tan with it. <laughs> so it was pretty pretty easy. Okay, yeah. so Tan is the mastermind behind your behind your lineup. At least in this match, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I see. Uh, we already had one of your teammates playing because obviously you guys are all from Flow Esports, and we had uh, Johnny Stone play and lose already. So, is there something that you gotta say about that? Any opinions on the first match? Yeah, I don't think so. I think uh, they both played really well, and so yeah, it's Hearthstone, right? So sometimes it it happens that you lose, although yeah. you're playing well. So. I think maybe it was a mistake to not bring the priest. Yeah, I agree. Because it's really pretty strong and they don't have it, so... And they got wrecked yeah. by it. They lost all their three uh, games. They, they lost all <laughs> of them against the priest, so they might be reconsidering their lineup right now. Yeah, yeah I also think that priest is the strongest class at the moment if you ban through it, yeah. so... It was, yeah, I was really surprised that they didn't bring it, so... Yeah, but we did. <laughs> Definitely. So you got it on the lineup. Yeah, I'd say let's get ready to rumble. Uh, Maverick and Odemian are already good to go. So guys, good luck, have fun, and maybe talk to you after the match if you win. Yeah, sure. And All right, thanks. Enjoy. Thanks, man. Happy casting. Yeah, so that leads us to our <laughs> next match. Uh, I know that the picks and bans are already through. So we just have two druid bans as expected from both teams. 
and we will be jumping into our match immediately. If you want to know more about the Frost Battles, uh, about one of the most awesome Hearthstone tournaments going on right now, you could check out elcgaming.com because this is... An event sponsored by ELC Gaming and not only sponsored by ELC Gaming, we're, we are the hosts of it all. We're doing the productions, uh, we're doing uh, the advertisement and all of that stuff and also I'm working for them. So yeah, it's an in-house production by ELC Gaming. Also big shout out to Sasha and to Phil who are supporting the show today. Without them that would not be possible like that. And I am just very much looking forward to our next game. Maverick and the Demian. Really nice guys. Ten and two bears well known in the German scene. I already saw that a lot of German viewers are here today. We haven't seen a lot of them uh, last group, which was last week, group A. But yeah, today with two of the most well known Hearthstone streamers in Germany. It's yeah, it's just It's just logical that we got some more German viewers today and I'm still waiting I'm still waiting for for the French people to also kick in as Maverick and Demian also two very well known dudes all around the Hearthstone scene Maverick has been here for ages to be honest I uh, don't know too much about Demian as I have never met him personally but he seems like a pretty chilled guy and he's not one of the biggest uh, streamers in France for no reason. So, yeah, that's what we're going to expect and that's what we're going to see. So, jumping into the match, I, I still can't figure out if they already started or not. Uh, Maverick preparing to battle a friend. Uh, that means that two beers might be two. All right, so we're using two beers and ton are playing from the account of ton, so they're not using two beers account. And maybe I just quickly got to tell the teams that we're ready to go. All right, guys, just quick information. We're ready to go whenever you are. So, good. Cool. Uh, all right, for you as well, just a quick information. We're ready to go whenever you feel like it. So, yeah. Yeah, so both teams informed. Again, they both said they're ready and we're jumping in. First game of our second match today. I am Ton and two beers from Germany going up against Maverick and Odemian. Maverick is from Belgium and Odemian from France. So let's listen to what they got to say. And quite interesting to not see a uh, pirate warrior being brought here. Instead, it's going to be an old school taunt warrior. Strong enough. Yeah, uh, I would mulligan everything right Yeah, now. Uh, me as well. OK, so let's search for Doomsayer works. Yeah, nice. Uh, double echo light is not that optimal. But we have Doomsayer, it's okay. Yeah. They didn't keep anything. And it's good for us. Could also be Control Paladin, right? <laughs> they just throw everything away. Yeah, that would not be so good. Okay, yeah, it's. Looks like Control Paladin at the moment. <laughs> Uh, maybe just a bad hand. Yeah, I hope so, right? <laughs> so. Oh my god, are you kidding? Holy shit. Yo, it's your birthday. It's your Let's give some errand here. That's okay. Wow. I'll get it back when you play Priest. Yeah, anyway, Paladin game doesn't matter. Um, oh, I just token. Uh, token up, huh? I'm not playing Control Paladin, dude. Yeah, they're gonna think it's control. I mean, I don't remember I last time Merlock Paladin didn't have, didn't have one drop, one drop and two drops, and drops against, against me. 
And Corpse Taker has Maybe. no buffs as well. I hit you. That's pretty dark. Okay, cool. Yeah. Probably Captain. Captain? Oh! Oh, okay. To me. So. Yeah. No, it really sucks that we didn't get a good start. Yeah. Uh, let's just go for the blade. Yeah, rallying blade, right. Oh my god, the corpse they are not leaving Winfrey is so painful. Yeah, in this matchup it's actually really, really bad. So I guess, so I guess it's control warrior, not even taunt? Because I you, don't would, know. you would but keep uh, the quest against Paladin, I think. Like, I saw this weekend, I saw like Kalento not keeping quest. Against Paladin? Yeah, against Paladin. Okay. So, I don't know, maybe. It's become meta. I don't feel like it's good, Maybe but if some people are doing it, it could happen. Okay, let's just see. It could be like fatigue or something like that as well. We interview with them, the deck is and then we'll get to go. Expecting to face like murlocs and shamans and stuff like that, and it's even decent against priests. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's like yeah, yeah. That was super. So let's see. I, I still hope it's a Smaller Paladin now. <laughs> wow. It's unlikely. Got you baited so hard. Winter is huh? It could still be. <laughs> could but be it's Corpse Taker. No, no, no Lysty, no Wind Fury. Hmm. Then it should be like. Then it should be like Malak Paladin, right? If it's there's no Lifesteal. Could be. But. You would always play Wick of Flame control, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe they have mm. Wick of Flame on, on their hand. Mm -hmm. How about Doomsayer? Yeah, I think so as well. For the LA Ammo Smith next turn? Yeah. Yeah, we need to fish for the quest, so Doomsayer should be okay here. And we've already seen one so uh, weapon. Yeah, let's play Doomsayer. Ecola is still bad. I want to combine it with like Ravaging Ghoul, yep. Battle Rage. So let's play Doomsayer, armor up. And we have follow up, so we don't need to Battle Rage. Yeah, quite unfortunate that the Corpse Taker did not get the lifesteal, as obviously with some buffs you would have been able to deal a lot of damage here and the hand is so clunky by Maverick and Odemian. Look at these two gentle Megasaurs, they don't even have like a real amazing. play on turn 5. Uh, even if they wanted to they could not get rid of that Doomsayer and that's that's just not really good. Just imagine if they at least had a blessing of kings, um, they just could have gotten rid of that and Tan is now taking the lead in that game they are able to put down an LA armor smith also with the battle rage they were already talking about it maybe able to even refill the hand double brawl available only the quest uh, they decided to shuffle the quest back in which is helping out against an aggressive deck if you really want to go into the fight to control that deck which is happening right now, but you also lose the ability to really finish off your opponent uh, as quickly as possible. Cards like a Storm Watcher and Tyrion Ford Ring, or still anything buffed by a Spike Ridge Maybe. Steed, could still be quite a big know. problem to Tanatubius here. Yeah. I mean, we could go for Megazor or Poisonous, but yeah, maybe we don't buff what's doesn't coming. Doesn't seem all that good for the moment. Yeah, it's not appealing. Mm -hmm. But at least we're kind of blocking him from playing other taunts, maybe? maybe? Like, that have less HP? Hey, could check him. Oh, wow, okay, that's really good. Oh, shit. That's really good. Uh, she... So what are the options here? Could go for the Stormwatcher, just yes. it. But Storm then... Watcher. The problem is that... 
that is gonna get executed, right? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, that's so it takes like blade and execute, mm. and he draws a bunch of cards. But I don't think we can avoid him drawing a bunch of cards anyway. No, not in this position. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it's Stormwatcher, and if he doesn't have execute, we can, we can just put the, the Stegodon on it. And if he has execute, we'll have to find a way. Yeah. Okay. Like Mur 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 Murloc, Murloc, and Megazor is only good if we get the. Poisonous. It's only good if we get toxicity, right? But yeah. if we get poisonous, it's insane. Yeah, but yeah. Ah. I think it's kind of risky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to drop the stun marcher. I think that's probably better. Here we go. Oh boy. Ooh. We have a we have a good brawl here. Ooh. Do you think so? Ah. Uh. What is what is the worst case? The Stormwatcher, right? This is the worst case. Yeah. Fincher should be. Hmm. It's not good as well, but Stormwatcher blower should be bad, with some buffs. I don't know. Maybe I I would risk it here, but what do you mean? Or we wait a turn. Just Can play also the wait creator. A turn. Yeah. Can also wait a turn so many to get a bit better brawl, maybe. But then he gets the Murloc from Thinja and yeah, but then Spike the brawl is better. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we need to dirty red brawl, so let's play the just creator for the draw. Yeah, I see. So many let's play creator, go face. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we are in the position to have to. Yeah. yeah. So we shouldn't like. Put us in the worst, the worst position. Yeah, that's the obvious play. Do we have yeah, anything yeah, else? I don't that, think so. That's the obvious play. I agree. What can you do better? Hmm. No, I don't I feel like anything is better here. Yeah, not really. And what yeah. do we do else? Just token? Is there the a point in left? dropping Inquisitor? No, probably not. I want to keep it for the Mega as well. Yeah, I agree with that. So yeah, it's just token. So yeah, trade the 4-6 trade. Boost? Nope. Well, at least the 2 3 won't die on the way. Ah. It's pretty bad to get a boost. I mean, if he just Drake plays the Drake, we can just. We can just steamroll him with. Uh, get a tier in or something. Yeah, that you, that's right, bro, for sure. Well, what about Primordial Drake, man? Primordial Drake. It's sick, right? It's sick. We, we get the draw. After we get the draw, we kill like. Um, but we could five overdraw them. Minimum. But it's not. That's not that. That's it's not a big deal against this deck to overdraw. What do you think, man? Well, because they have to like um, expand the, the board again, and then we can get so a bit better brawl. Choices. And the prime audio check won't get better. What do you think? Should be okay, I guess. So play the like Primordia Drake you draw with the creator. The right run? Yeah. Yes, yeah, play it, right? Well, well do we trade? No, no. No, no, we, I will just play Primordia. Yep. So we it. keep the accolade for Brawl. Yeah, okay. I like it. Okay, there's the Execute. And if we overdraw, it's not a big deal. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so taking the risk of an overdraw here in that situation, and I totally agree to what Tan is saying. It's it's not going to be the end of the world if you overdraw here. And the Primordial Drake was pretty delicious, and you're still holding on to your double brawl. Also being so healthy at 39 HP, it's looking quite good for our warrior here, which is probably due to the bad hand that Maverick and Odemion started with. Also, uh, happy birthday to Odemion. I totally forgot to say that, but this man is having his birth birthday like today. 
And yeah, also happy to see that a lot of people from France and Belgium just tuned in to watch their guys play the game and we see gentle megasaur coming down poisonous which is quite a good outcome here and the blessing of kings is gonna be devastating look at that 10 10 swinging in two times that's 20 damage in your face in just a single turn <laughs> that's, that's quite funny to see uh yeah what is gonna be the answer of two beers and ten here just we can always execute, execute. if it stays alive the ten ten. So many choices. Okay, we have both brides. It's fine, right? Should be. Yeah. I like it. I like the red bro. Then go for the red. Let's see what we get. Maybe Terran or something. Terran. Wait, wait. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just bro. bro, yeah. Just so, bro, yeah. Sure, sure. Maybe Ecolite will live. I hope so. Please don't stone watcher. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Woo! Um, I would just hero. Oh, I mean, what a great outcome. The dirty rat even survives. So, yeah, it's quite good here for two beers and ten. Pretty much having the same board as their opponent. Uh, the other thing is that they already used the gluttonous ooze if i remember that correctly but i should be and um, yeah so the ash bringer is gonna be a little bit problematic here maverick and nadimian with the top deck it's a bone more are we sure about this because we're gonna play the yeah because time. we're gonna we're we're gonna make a sword. Probably of them having either second Drake or uh, whirlwind effect is super high, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go for the weaker flame. I'm on fire. And I swing to the face with the weapon. Mm. Nice placement on meteor. <laughs> uh... So we we could like expand the board. With like Ali Armorsmith, Stonehill execute, or like execute Brim Audio. I think we should like play several taunts and Brim Audio after. We have still sleep with the fishes in, in deck, right? So we, we have maybe maybe we, we need some some Brim Audio Drake sleep combo. Yeah, so I think execute Ali Armorsmith and Stonehill maybe. is fine. No. Just to like stabilize the board and then finish with Prime Audio. What do you think? Should be fine. So I'll go yeah. for the Stone Defender first. Yeah, sure. Corner Sentry is pretty sick with Brawl. Yeah, sure, why not? I would just pit, p pick it here before we are too late and execute this one. This is not bad, right? Fine. Yeah, Sentry is pretty good. Yeah, I like it as well. And another top deck coming in here for Maverick and Odemian with the Spike Ridge Steed, uh, which might be very valuable. They can immediately use it on Bone Mar, have another 7 9 minion on the board right now, and can just put on a little bit of pressure. Also, together with the title hand which spawns another 1-1 one, one murloc you get a rock pool hunter onto that and it looks like a stable board but don't forget about all the board clears that are available for 10 and 2 beers they still have a brawl if they want to use that also just got sleeping with the uh, sleep with the fishes into their hand so uh, it's uh, quite possible that this board might not stay the way so it is and they have yeah, only one card, so that brawler. Yeah, I be think it's the sickest than... brawler we can get at the moment. So let's do it, right? Yes. Okay. Nice little raptors. Miss! Okay, let's Sentry. go. Let's go. Two times lucky, maybe. Wow. No bomb, yeah? Yeah, that looks sick. 
Ooh, red terror. How's the ravaging ghoul? How about ghoul? I think ravaging was better against Tyrant. We have sleep. We can we prepare yeah, I, I primordial. Cool, cool we should cool do it because we, we always also prepare primordial tray fishes for the five HP drop, right? Yeah, and, and maybe he, he need to spring with the weapon on the ghoul. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I really like it. Should be always better. Nice man. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. No. Nice man. What is this? Oh, okay. Mega Sor. It's, it's it's not that bad. No, right? it's not that bad. You can just go for the Drake sleep combo. Yeah, I like it. Nice man. Bubble. No, no, because poison is. They're probably he's probably gonna clear our minions, right? The probability of him of yeah. him having like uh some something like um. Uh, feed, feed the fish or something that is actually really high. So, do we just keep the weapon? Or uh, probably we do. Yeah, we have to because we need to be able to push through a taunt. Like another extra taunt. Yeah, like Tarim is the only threat we have left. Tarim is actually pretty damn good, to be honest. Except if he manages to clear everything. So, we have no Terra left. We're not playing Stone Ill Defender. I think we we have two, so we have two sleeps, so we should use it. And the voice could be better next what turn, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I think we should we should play one sleep, otherwise we won't get value out of it. Yeah, sure, sure. Right? Okay. Sure. Let's play. Oh. <laughs> well, 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 you could go for the war axe. How how many? Warrant effects we have because of yeah, Terran. Terran would be so a problem. The ghoul would die anyway. I gotta move. We could swing the axe. We could also like save our HP. Yeah. I still think it's sleep. Yeah, just go for the sleep. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sure. We shouldn't take any damage anymore. Yeah, so one of the few draws keeping Maverick and Odemian li alive here uh, would be the Sun Keeper Terran, but they did not quite manage to draw into that. Instead, they got a Righteous Protector. Uh, yeah, it's looking grim for them. He probably wins here, but if we go to the trade, he wins 100%. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I agree with this. We just, you just, we you just, just, just leave everything. Yeah, you just leave everything up and not do anything, and if he has the whirlwind, you can see. So, so, so we go. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, we go. We could go for Hatchling Ghoul into Battle Rage. So we draw three cards, or we don't need it. Do we it. need we, it? We have. I don't think only we need nine it. cards. I would just Ravaging Ghoul trade, to be honest. So no Battle Rage anymore. I don't know, just for one card maybe? Now? We can play it now. One card I don't think or two we need cards? Is, isn't two cards okay too? I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Let's play two cards. Let's draw two cards, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a good balance. Cool battle range and then two hatchling. And, and, and then the hatchling doesn't have five lives. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's battle rage now, right? Yeah. yeah. That's so nicely done to even play around that Ashbringer and um, using the Dire Horn Hatchling afterwards. I really like to see that play. Because uh, Tana's right, they don't really need any more options in their hand. The game is already decided, and there we go. The victory is yours. Maverick and Odemian concede the first game, and just like that, it's a 1 0 scoreline here for our German team. And once again, it's the players of Flow Esports grabbing an early lead. Uh, we saw that not really paying off for Johnny Stone in the first match today, but yeah, <laughs> it might just not be the same fate for all of them. And there we go, immediately jumping into game number two, and let's listen to Maverick and Odemian. Yeah, it is. I just moved again every single this end. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah nothing, has, nothing stays here. Oh, well, I want Raza and uh, Anjun, right? Yep. As fast as possible. Uh, this and it's not really happening. Yep. No draws, yep, 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 no yep. Raza, no Death Knight. Kept two. 
Okay. So we just dropped bot mage, right? Yep. Yeah, we want to draw. And if he if they coin acolyte, we just put uh Tarkley. I think we always do we stone ill here? I think so. And contest the one one really good. We can do, YX next turn do for we, Acolyte. Do we need to? I would play the tempo game here. Maybe we don't need. They can ooze the YX. I, w I want to get some value out of it, like kill an Acolyte or Radiant. Can see that, okay. I don't know, man. We can also armor up, but I like uh, stone him. Maybe we get another free drop, one drop. We just play for tempo here. We will always like pick the, the cheapest taunt or one that like uh, suits the curve, right? Could be good for the curve, right? We have a lot of three drops in our deck. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I will, I will do it. We could really pick the free drop, no joke. Sunrock is so good against Priest, right? And we can also pick this one. So we have like... We have a... Okay, yeah, Grizzly could be good, but I, I think we should go for the Sunrocker, right? Yeah, we do it. We go for the value. It's it's way too good against Priest. And we have the walks on free, which isn't too bad, so we don't need to like uh, force it, right? Yeah, Sunrock is good for our play after the yeah. armor smurf. And two attack isn't that good against Priest. It's quite interesting to see that ten and two beers are not always on the same page, and uh, sometimes it takes a while until they they come up with a decision. That's quite interesting to see, and I also got the feeling that somehow a uh, ton is the one that in the end always gets his decision, which might also be the best. Uh, but yeah, I I feel like ten is the more dominant of the two players right now that might still be changing but uh just something to maybe keep an ear open to because i think it's it's quite funny to listen to them talking about that place good no battle rage is super good now. Yeah. Mm. so it's just tar creeper right because yeah. nothing else don't see any other any other option <laughs> It's probably Elise on 5, rather than Direhorn in most situations. Yeah, uh, it's more efficient for the trades. Yeah. If he plays an armor smith, Ali armor smith, you yeah. can trade it and Nova and stuff. So yeah. Also prefer Elise. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, top deck Raza is still option number one. Yeah, but maybe we need... um. The warrant effect for sleep with the fishes or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I see. I can just hero power as well and just uh, skip the turn and play Ali. LA. What is next turn? Maybe. Next turn it's Raza, maybe. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's the worst case. I think it should could be fine to um, just hero power. I think we yeah. need the warrant effect for. Oh, move. Yeah, we should hero power. Yeah. We don't need to like. Hurry up here and play the weapon. So that's just chill, right? Just chill, yeah. Yeah, yeah taking the slow approach on this one, as obviously you are one of the slow stacks that exist in Hearthstone right now. Ten and two beers. And yeah, unluckily for Maverick and Odemia not drawing into the Raza that they wanted to top deck, that was option number one. But they have Elise the Trailblazer on turn five. Shuffling a fresh pack of Ungoro into their deck, and there we go. The plan was to play the alley almost with that hasn't changed. You're not gonna brawl this sport right here, it's just not huge enough to really go for that. Um, anyway, Lira is good in this, on this one. I don't think so. I think Nova is just I best. I don't think so. Is can Direhorn be good? Instead of Nova, I don't think so, right? Nah. Nova is just strictly better. In all, at all accounts. You just heal up everything. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just really good. Yeah, the turn is just perfect. You don't really get a 
It's hard to get a good Nova in that matchup as well, so... 5-5 five, five is really annoying for him. Yeah, it, it can actually push quite a decent amount of keep armor low. Not make him get... Because if armor gets out of control, we Anduin is... Could actually not be that good, but... Um, hoping he deals with Elise before we want to drop Anduin, but for the moment Anduin so isn't really a priority choices. anyway. So I'm not gonna... Just play it. Yeah. So we are on three, four, five after the village game. We get two taunts, so we have enough taunts for the crest. Yeah. It's and they don't nice. have Reza, that's so important. It's super important. Yeah. So I think we have a l enough time. Yeah. To just play the taunts. Yeah, that's the biggest problem to get like the Nutros or some chip damage early. Then it's some sometimes difficult, but yeah, that's quite yeah. close. It's okay if they get in there, like in their deck. So one more card. So we play the curator, right? But yeah. we but we don't attack with the one. I, right? would, so I would I would never attack because the brawl sure. gets better with the free one. So For sure, yeah. Choices. The yeah, so we just the let them the keep the, the bad cards. Primordial Drake is pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, let's just trade Elise, I guess. Yes. And it's kind of annoying if he trades the. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, Ooze. Okay. Is Ooze doing anything appealing here? Not really. No, but do we do we want to, do we want to heal Elise and keep her an extra turn? No, because he has Drake in end, so if we eat her and yeah. we take the yeah, trade, yeah, anyway, he's gonna die. Yeah. So I guess we just trade the Dark Ripper, we trade Elise, and we play yeah, the Death Knight. Alright. Let's go for some pressure. Yeah. The light has betrayed me. Done? Mm, I don't think so. Really right. I don't know, isn't that the. Of a problem. Oh, we can like, we can like double turn uh, this, this turn, turn and so next turn blood hoof and the quest. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's really sick. So we should go for it because he has the end in. We should uh, hurry yeah. up now. So many choices. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I think so. We have to. Just do we attack? I don't think so. I wouldn't take any damage. Just bad for yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Should be fine. Should and it does nothing, right? If we attack, so... <laughs> it's just like, mm -hmm. wasted, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Our game plan is more important. Yeah... Maybe they I'm play here. Valen or something, so we, we need to... We still have Execute. They sure. have to like Valen and OTK Darkness us. They won't drop it like on the board and do like 4 damage or 8 damage. It's not enough. So they always have to OTK us, so they need chip damage. So right Darkness now the game's stalling sweet. just a little bit. As Maverick and Odemian, they were not quite able to find all the pieces of the combination. They are still lacking Raza. Um, still quite a lot of cards in their deck. They can use the Void Form to just to, to start nagging on their opponent's HP. But still being on 22 is quite healthy. A Doomsayer coming down though um, might not really change the plans of two beers and tan here they can still go for what they wanted to do they can still trade with the weapon and play blood hoof into the new mm. weapon with the eight damage hero ability because then the quest would be fulfilled uh, but somehow they're hesitating we can always like expand the board again we have lich king we can drop something else So I would go for the quests, mm. otherwise we don't have time. Okay, go for it. I, yeah, I would just over equip on hero power. I don't think we will we want to take damage here. Yeah. Do you think? 
So now it's a uh, 33%. Yeah, w equip it and go for it. For your check. I will hero power first, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now we trade it. Sometimes lucky. Trade? Yeah, yeah, we sure, sure, sure. Now it's important. Yeah, so in the end, uh, the play by using the hero ability first and over equipping the weapon you uh you just lost one of your weapon swings um that's the outcome so yeah in the end you took the better chance because you had a 66 per percent chance to hit one of the minions instead of uh, going Shadow for the trade thoughts. with the weapon and uh, the dire horn first which would have left you with a 50 50 so i can definitely agree to that and I can see why they opted to go for that. Maverick and Ademian are now holding the pack of Ungaro, but what is their next play gonna be as it's still not mm. looking too good for them? Man, this one, man, this one there. Then I just go Spirit Lash. Right. Yeah, yeah Spirit Lash. Uh, clear that, and then you can you probably just here, play right? the ooze. Yeah, you probably just ooze here. It dies on Drake, but he plays Drake. Yeah. He doesn't play anything else. We now it's always Primordial, because we want to hit the face 100%. We still so have the Racer Blade for Execute, so... And the Primordial Drake is really sticky. Yeah. So, yeah. We should Primordial. Yeah, Primordial Drake. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about Lich King, but with the Ooze on board, you should uh, take the 100% right? Sure. A damage to the face is important. Yeah. At least so, in this position. Yeah. So he's on the clock. Yeah. We are or both on the clock. want to, keep, to have full mana to maybe play some stuff yeah. around the pack. Okay. I see it. Okay. Yeah, so being quite lucky here, they got a golden epic that's worth quite a lot of dust. And it's just so funny to see these packs opened in-game. I, I just love the mechanics of Elise Trailblazer. <laughs> really nice. But in the end, uh, is that really helping them Shadowy in that situation? Thoughts. I am not too sure. Bro. Uh, we could play the Drake and oop the Isra Bro. Hope he doesn't clear. Uh, the giant anaconda is shit, so I just see the Drake. That's a good play. Yeah, Drake is like the Dark least bad play. Probably. A little bit fortunate here. Sometimes fortunate. So you could put 8 faces, we put him at 11, and then even if we can drop everything, we put maximum 6 damage on turn after. I guess that's what we wanted to see, but <laughs> just oh. we have a good turn. That's at least. interesting. Yeah. Okay. So flame guys, sir. So we played death. Yeah. Flame guys are on the four six ping. Play the one two ping and face. We play Gravius bait instead of the flame geyser thing. You don't want to put the to drop the one too? We can play just play cleric instead of oh, the okay. Mm. okay. And the thing is we can go face with the flame gear though, that's what I like. Okay, yeah. I get I get it. Alright. Right. Right. We don't even need to drop that to be honest. Uh I kinda want do it. You want to, you want an extra, yeah, you want an extra target actually. So yeah, it's actually good. And we have Dino and end, so kind of yeah. like having an extra minion here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So Pain is actually really decent here because most of the targets in this deck are dealt with by Pain. The the card we don't want to see is Mama Rhinoceros. An important one is that he's not playing any armor in his deck. He's not playing armor smith and he's not oh. playing shield blocks. So yeah, because he replaced armor smith with uh, doomsayers. Doomsayer, right? 
because you need one attack more. What do you think? S ah, so you see it? We could like ra racer execute sleep doomsday hero power. Then we get we get like two turn lethal. Is is it enough, racer? Yeah. Racer six eight ten. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Fuck. I gotta move. Did so, I miss so, up? Yeah. We we could go go for the razor. Yeah. Razor execute for sure. And we need to kill yeah, the Derek. With. Yeah, we trade the hero power and doomsayer. Yeah. Then we have two turn lethal, right? Yeah. We have we have, if, if, if we have two damage have. with the weapon. We create a healing potion or something like that. Yeah. You need heal. And he already played Holy Nova and Spirit Lash, right? Potion. So we have to kill this weapon. Yeah. So we gonna play Ooze this turn. Yeah. Is there any way like one mana potion is good? Darkness speaks to me. Do we want to pain also? So if we get three damage off the potion, and we ping twice this time, so that's two. Yeah, but then we don't kill yeah, the weapon and we're dead. We have to play the ooze this turn. Yeah. Yeah, but we can, we can play ooze geyser and double ping face. And next turn we ping. Kazakus get potion one, so that's. Ah, oh, that's not gonna be this. grow short. Yeah, so we're one off even with that game plan. I just threw everything to the face. Yeah. Look for something. Death grip into Valen. Can we get? Uh, we we had. We have to get Valen. It doesn't. It Ooh, doesn't work, yeah. right? We have one. We, we need one. One mana is missing. We have no armor. We need to get a priest of the feast. And then we we, we then can't combine. Us. Hmm. Ah, maybe we'll sleep, sleep, right? I have to try it. We have to. We have no other play, right? We have to need. We, we, to we have no, the nothing in our deck to draw with Eclat, right? No. LA is not fast enough. And let's play it. And Eclat isn't. Um, YX hmm. isn't enough damage. No, it's one off. So we need to go for the Death Grip, right? I will. <laughs> I have it, man. Yeah, yeah, go. Priest, Let sleep. Oh, I'm a god. <laughs> I called it, man. I called it. I'm a god. I'm a fucking god, man. What a crazy top deck by the Germans here. Just looking for the priest of the feast and then play sleep of with the fishes. That was that was an awesome turn. What's the plan for our Belgium and French friend now? This is gonna be tough. For healing potion. With vision. And then pain and ping. Darkness speaks to me. Okay. okay. Yeah, then we have a plan. Yeah, have yeah okay. Let's yeah. just do that. I can just yeah. play the Shadow Vision first. Yeah. Oh, we have it. We have it, okay. So, yeah, you just play the potion and pain and ping and... No, I just ping. Just ping. Play the potion. Yeah. Ping again. And reaping. Oh, wow. Okay, so, but he's gonna have a spell, right? No? How likely is it that he doesn't have a spell? But don't we have to go for that? If he cannot execute know, he... something? Yeah, we... So, he can't execute, he can't brawl. Shadowy thoughts. Okay, yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, that's and he set good. up for that... a little. That's actually the correct line. Yeah, you're you're right. You're right. You're right. One hundred percent. Okay. Any spells left? Another sleep. Dirty red. Isn't good red. We have another sleep left. We could heal ourselves with with brawl. If we if we, we have play to. dirty red. But but then if something lives, we have a problem, right? So Can we choices. brawl our own minions with two? Sure, right? <laughs> we should I do it. So. <laughs> we should do it. 100%. But we um, with Acolyte, right? With Acolyte. 
Or, or do we do it with the Acolyte because of... So Potion of Madness is already played, right? Yeah, it is. We have to. It should be working with... Yeah. It should, right? It's attack first with the Priest. Attack first. Sh should working, right? I, <laughs> I hope so, I don't know. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Play the Acolyte. I, w I will play Dirty Red, I think. Really? So it will ho happen 100%. Let's do it. go. Just do it. We have no time left. I, I think Eclat is always better because if, if they keep the minion on the board, we have a problem, right? Kasekos is good. Yeah, but but if, no! if, if, if they could keep the Kasekos on the board, right? So it's a problem with Dirty Red. Yeah, but... I... So easy. <laughs> okay. It works. <laughs> Yeah, what a crazy finish to that game. Now we will be jumping into game number three. A very long match here with the warrior going up against the priest. And what a crazy finish. Two beers was saying it. The dirty rat it might just be a little bit too much. It might just be a little bit too risky. And it exactly happened. Kazakus survived and a dinosaur finish from a priest that's something you don't see every day so let's listen into the considerations of what tan and tubius want to pick in the next game they have villain right yeah we don't have it so our um mirror match isn't that good right mm, there's better but did did they have profit we don't know yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Maybe they don't have it. They, let's they let's just think about it. They still have Shaman. They play so with Elise, right? So they don't have it, right? They play the value, not the... I think we should play the Mirror, because we are better against Shaman with it. Or... That does... Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. I think we should play the Mirror. Do you think? Was it Paladin? I think we should Priest. They have because Shaman and left, right? Yeah. So we really need. We need Priest against it. We need Priest Paladin against is really bad. Shaman's right. So. I think we should. Should we then go for for the Paladin then? So we win this, and if they win, we get a good matchup, all right. So w when we lose with Priest and win with Mara Paladin, we have a problem, maybe? Yeah. What do you think? Paladin? I think it should be Paladin, right? Okay. And I don't think it works. Works. They decided to go for the Paladin pick. And this is going to be our next matchup. Uther Lightbringer versus Anduin Rin. Paladin versus Priest. And it's going to be quite a risky matchup going with an aggressive deck like the Murloc Paladin against the deck that can handle aggression very well when drawing into a, a decent start. Uh, which is a pretty spot. This start doesn't look too decent, but there is a Doomsayer coming in. So at least this one is joining in for the fight. We see a, a crazy hand, double Murloc, tight caller. Are they going for it for the aggression early on? I think they can. If you calculate it through, you might even be able to deal with the Doomsayer coming down. We could get punished with Potion of Madness if we do like tight caller or pull right. Okay. Yeah, it's a doomsayer. 
<laughs> what you? Uh, just give yeah. me something to play on. They probably have like the, the two three buff, so but it's very likely they have the two three buff or the one yeah. three. Yeah, it's either uh, one drop or. Sure. Okay, so that's pretty bad. Yep. yep. Just heal and pass. Yep. But we have good AOEs, so it's decent. We managed to set up a decent cabal. Could work. So here we're hoping that they don't have one drop in two, three, basically. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that would be an A. And then Corpse Taker with Wind Fury would be painful as well. We probably need to mass this spell if they play that. If they actually play that, we need to mass this spell. If it doesn't have Wind Fury, we don't care. But if it has Wind Fury, we have to mass this spell. I wonder. <laughs> Rock pull, that's for sure, right? Sure. I, I just want to pay the Righteous Protector for the against the Potion of Madness. Alright. Then do it. So, so it protects our our minions here, right? Yeah, I like it. Otherwise you can like um Potion of Madness the two three into the three three. Now it's not possible. And then do some other stuff. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's fine. Priest of the Feast? Um, yeah, because if they play Megasaur, we don't want to uh, have played Mass Dispel before, right? Yeah, and um, Shadow Aura is kind of shit in this position. Yeah, so we have to play Priest of the Feast, actually. It's like not even negotiable. Yep. And then if they play Blessing of Kings or Megasaur, we just Mass Dispel. Probably. It's probably going to be one of the two. It's extremely likely. Yeah, it's a. There's a lot of chance. Hard to kill the Priest of the Feast. We, we, we could go for ta Rock on the Protector. Protector still good, right? Let me yeah. Think. So Rock we can Hunter. like trade the 1 1 and the 5 5, five, five, four. Uh, five 4 tight corner, yeah. We have to kill it. I don't think we can. Otherwise, he We need it or a something. good top deck next turn, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But we're, we should do the play. The light dim. We fight. Yeah, so putting down some pressure, taking care of the priest of the feast, and you gotta agree with that. Uh, it's just uh, as an aggressive deck, you, you just can't leave a card like the priest of the feast open. Maverick and Odemian, uh, they haven't been using their shadow word horror last turn, they can do so now if they wanted to. Uh, that would just leave open the 5 1 Murloc Tide Caller. So maybe opting to go for Shadow Visions, grabbing out something else. But every turn that passes without clearing the board, you take a lot of damage. And furthermore, uh, a buff might soon be coming down in terms of the Spiked Ridge Steed that might make the board a little bit more stickier. If you imagine Spiked Ridge Steed going down on a Rockpool Hunter making that. Mm -hmm. Yes. A five, uh, a four, nine minion that's nearly unclearable if not master spelt. And so, it's yeah, good Yeah, so the Spirit Lash in the end taking care of a majority of the board, but there we go, there's a Murloc War Leader. And that might be problematic regarding the Shadow World Horror. So, uh, there's no think. other way than not to drop it down. You need to keep the pressure up high. Around it. It's not possible. Reporting for duty. If uh, he doesn't have it, maybe we win from this position. Maybe, maybe not. But, yeah. They have it, right? Dragon Fire, yeah. Inside no, Shadow World Horror. Yeah. It's a good 
Oh yeah, totally forgot about the pint-sized potion, <laughs> which then turns it all around because pint-sized potion with the Shadow World Horror obviously uh, makes a good ball clear as we just saw. Uh, phenomenal play and yeah, 10 and 2 beers already not too confident in winning that anymore. They were talking about taking the risk, uh, maybe winning if there's not a Dragonfire oh potion. Boy. They were not really expecting the pint-sized potion into Shadow World Horror themselves. And yeah, the priest once again being quite stable going up against such an aggressive deck. Buff it, buff it. Okay, Rally there. Let's just. So that's a pretty terrible cabal. Yeah, but we develop the. But we get the 4 5 body. So then what is he gonna do? He's gonna. If he plays, uh, um, yeah, so he can't play Bone Mare, otherwise he just takes the Anduin of his life. Yeah, we, we just win. And he loses. It. So Anduin is probably really good regardless next turn. And uh, if, and if we play the North Shire? I don't think so. Why would we play it? Oh, because you think he's going to buff the 3-3 three, three and trade in the... Yeah, maybe. Like, if you just play the Steeds, mm. we go... Uh, anyway, it's not going to have any good trade. Nah, mm. we probably just yeah. play the Cabal. I think just Cabal is better here. Let me change your so if he plays any buff, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So yeah, that just feels good, right? Yeah, it just feels alright. It's too it's, it's hard punish, right? Yeah. Yeah, let, let's always trade. We need to trade, for sure. And we don't prepare leaf as well, so there's no no, no benefit to in going face. I believe in Tarim plays. Okay. Has betrayed me. Hmm. It's, it's still fine, right? No Raza? Yeah, to them. No Raza, no Raza. Stonehill could be good. Should go for the Stonehill, right? We, we yeah. don't Tarim here. We can't double 2-6. No, 2-6 isn't that good, right? I already played. Let's watch for the next turns. We never go for the Shambler, right? Mm. I don't think so. So Bog Creeper should be better than Mastodon, right? <laughs> yeah. Two life isn't that important? Yeah, we, we can only play Mastodon if we... We can draw like a free drop or something. Then we can combine it with Bock Reaper, so I think it's more flexible. Alright. Okay. Um, we, we don't do trip, right? The they play double ooze. So we shouldn't but play we the play point. We have to push. Think so? No, I want to play efficient here. I don't know if it's the right. Hero power for sure. Okay. We, we could go for the blade, sure. Why not? Would go play it face or something like that. Okay. That's actually pretty decent. It is. So what do you want to do? Elise Acolyte? You don't want to ping anything? Aren't you scared about Tarim? Shadow so you want to play Elise lost. and ping the 1-1? One, one? Nah, kind of nah, want nah, to play the Acolyte this turn. Acolyte seems good. Also want to throw the Cleric if we do that. Yeah, you can just throw the Cleric and force him to trade, and it's an, and it's an extra target for Tarim, poss this possibly. Tarim is kind of a pain, to be honest. Let the pain speak to me. Is it is. Uh. But then again, just go for Master... Wow. Not a stone hill. We need to play blade now. So he doesn't mm. get the draw, right? He should yeah, we should always avoid the draw. So we play defender first. Or, or or maybe we go Terran? What do you think? We we play play, trade, acolyte. 
double trade the uh, one free one one to one one and then add Tarim. Yeah. So clear a lot as much as possible and go for Tarim. Sure. Yeah, right. Yeah. So this one. To only give him one draw, this. Yeah, everything. Trade, trade, trade. Except for Elise. Yes. Play Tarim then? Yeah, and Tarim. Yeah, I like it. I think we need something OP like Tyrion out of Defender or something. We just hope they get bad draws. They have they have one Ooze on the hand for sure. For sure. Dragonfire? I'm gonna pack. <laughs> uh, they've just played it, right? Yeah. Last turn. Oh boy. Yeah, it's, it's hard to play around everything with this pack. So, so, so we corrupting mist. Yeah, we and just, we just pink face corrupting mist and pink yeah. face again. Yeah. <sighs> and then, if he plays Tyrion, we can mass dispel meteor. Potentially. Yeah, for example. The shadows grow yeah, let's just go for yeah, that. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. So he's probably just gonna take value with his creatures. Mm. Not that much value, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. Was Stonehill Bog Tripper? Let's see what we get. Yeah, first Stonehill. Ooh, wow. This is important. Yeah. But they have ooze, right? <laughs> Maybe not now. Let's I just know. chill. But Tyrion is really, really important, you know? So we keep the weapon, yeah. of course. Maybe we can bait the ooze or something. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be important. Maybe. So it's not that... Not that likely, but maybe. If they play the ooze, they have a second one on the hand, right? How about right now, there's no ooze available for Maverick and Odemian here, so they just get rid off the board by using King Mosh in a very fashionable manner. Uh, Tyrion Fordring might be quite good to go into a little brawl with the King Mosh. But still don't forget about the Meteor that Maverick and Odemian got out of their pack of Ungaro. So they could just use the hero ability, then go for the Meteor King Mosh, swing to the face for 9 damage. Um, there's a high possibility that they really go for that play. They could also consider using Master Spell here to not grant Tan and Two Beers the Ashbringer. Uh, let's just listen. Can we just drop a uh, Creeper and Power World Shield the Creeper? Why? Because it's a, it's it has seven HP and it doesn't get traded by the token plus the plus the weapon. Yeah, but we're gonna ping the token. Mm. Okay, fair enough. So I'm as the spell. Oh, there is the ah. uh, It's okay. He has a second tier in the deck, so it's not wasted. Okay. Yeah, we can burn prison with Redding Blade. Burn prison Redding Blade for sure. But they can always hero power it for sure. Ah, oh, boy. So we should play the blade as well. Do we? We should play it, right? Mm, Thanks. So. Because of the 9 3. But they will always hero power that way. 100%. We, we go for the blade, or? Yeah. Hit it? We have to. We have always to hit. Mm. We have to get yeah, through sure. it. And hero power. <laughs> Doesn't look good. Yeah, that's a pack, right? Yeah. The King Mosh pack. That's pretty good. <laughs> so just ping the 3-3. Three, three, ooze. Ping again. The 2 mana ooze, then. Yeah. And then Primal Fin. 
I guess. Or loot order. Honestly, it doesn't really matter at that point. Yeah, kind of prefer the Parmaphon. I, I think I prefer the Parmaphon as well. Just start dropping some value and then 9-phase nine, nine with the Mosh. And that's a, actually a good cool setup. So the only out for them is the swing and we have Meteor for that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so really going in front here, Maverick and Edemion with a nice solid performance of the Priest again. And that Priest seems to be a difficulty for all the Flow Esports members. Uh, yeah, we, we will take a little break. Uh, Tom just wrote me that he wants to go to the toilet, so I'm quickly going to answer that, saying okay. Yeah, we want to keep it friendly here, so there's always time to to take it. Uh, yeah, just like that. Not that serious. We we want to be more like a seed story cup and not like a dream hack, if you get what I want to say. But so far, great matches and long matches. Uh, the longest matches that we've seen so far. And uh, Group A was pretty quick. Group B, the first match was also pretty quick, but it was involving Game King, aka the most aggressive player out there. Uh, and yeah, that's also his his footprint and his fingerprint is is in the lineup uh, of Game King and Johnny Stone. That's what you saw: more aggressive decks, not going into the heavy control decks, just like Tan and Tubius did by bringing the Warrior. I still feel like uh, a big turning point might have been the dirty red into the brawl i'm still thinking about that because i feel like they could have won the match against the priest if they had just played the acolyte then the brawl then just go for your hero ability the outs would have been a bit better by doing that but in the end it was quite unlucky to to get the calzacus staying alive yeah and that's why we are going up to to a two one lead here for Maverick and Odemian, who are doing a great job. And once more, by the way, Odemian has his birthday today. So if you want to congratulate him, feel free to do so. And yeah, I don't know. Actually, I'm not too sure about the majority of the chat who they are rooting for. Uh, at the start of this match, I felt like most people were from Germany, so rooting for two beers or ten. Uh, but now it, it's somehow shifted because I can also see a lot of French in the chat. But we're ready to go, so jumping into our fourth match, which might be the final match, as we see a priest, a mirror match coming up. And let's see if Tan and Tubers can somehow manage to stabilize. Thing here. We always look for sure. Anduin and the Razar. Razar. Okay. A Glimmerot can also be good. I get a lot of like Anduins in the mirror. That would be good, yeah. No. If you could get it. And Berkeley is not bad as well. It's 4 6. Against Priest, it's good, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that, my list is not that bad in the mirror. There are better lists about, uh, for the mirror, but it's fine, I think. It just depends on the draw. Okay, let's see. Cleric? <clears throat> Cleric or nothing. Might be so, Doomseer. Like if they have Doomseer and then we give the... I mean, we get one throw. Yeah. Oh, the more I think And if it. he paints this, I mean, it's okay, right? We get one for one and pain is a really valuable card in the matchup. Yeah, the more I think about it, more like uh, uh, Cleric. It seems, it seems decent to me. Like, it's not correct most of the time, but I feel like here it might actually be good. Yeah, with the power shield, probably yeah. is. You anyway, get one... if they play, if they play Doomsayer, we get one card. Yeah, so we get two for one. So it, I, it's I correct in it. almost all situations. I'll just play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's good. 
Um, we don't play it to Thanos, right? No. Do we do play we Shadow Versions? Play Shadow Versions? Or do we wait to get some other spells later? If, I don't if, think if, if we, we need are to. Looking for. Yeah. I think we just chill. We don't. We don't need. Uh, need to. And we don't know which answers we we want. Or we need. Sure. No, we just skip. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Because of a uh, potion of mana. Potion and spirit lash. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just going glimmer root here, I guess, and then if, we, if that that's kind of solves the acolyte problem as well when we don't have to coin the mass dispel. So that's just strictly better. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh oh, I can see Raza. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Very cool, nice. Yeah, we always go for Glimmer Root here, right? Yes. The other place, the other place aren't that Rasa good. Please. Something, yeah. Uh, Dragonfire Potion. Dragonfire? It's not that bad, it's it's okay. Job's done. It's fun for bot here, yeah. why not? Yeah. Let's hope for no power cheat, but I think they have that right. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh. Thinking about Potion of Madness. <laughs> or looking for it. Kazakus is pretty good too, right? Yeah, Kazakus into draw, right? We have to look for draw. Five potion draw. Do we ever go for the Shadow Visions into Shadow World Plane or. I think it's potion? not good enough and it's not 100% and we get it. Sure. Sure, sure. Kazakos should be stronger, I think. Five mana portion? Yeah. Yeah, and two draws would be the best in this matchup. Deal four. Bot clear is pretty good too, right? Yeah, they will like trade heal and then it should be a full bot at the moment, so we go for it. Yeah, sure, we'll go for Fabloom. No draw. Oh. So it should be. In Demon, right? So if you clear the board, yeah. we we'll just get a 5-5. Five, five. I think it's Demon. Yeah, sure. It's not what we want, but... Oh... <laughs> no... <laughs> but is that ever possible, though? Probably not. Well, it's very unlikely. I mean, they could do it, and if they can do it, they probably go for it. So we should... Yeah. Pay attention. I wonder. But is there any way we can avoid this? I don't think so. Well, actually, we avoid it by playing like Loot Order and Talnos, but that's um, never correct, right? I don't really like it. So, yeah, I think you go for it, and we might actually get some card that we can play. Could happen. Ah, I don't really want to throw the silence. Do we? How bad is it to throw the silence? Pretty bad. Yeah, just uh. Yeah, just leave it like that. And I mean, it's pretty. If they overdraw us, they have pretty an effective turn. And the yeah. chances that they overdraw the Death Knight is pretty low. Well, I, I'm what? not even sure I, w I would go for it if I was them. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Silence 2-1 and Potion. Should be the play. Deny the draw. Yeah. Yeah, draw is so important and they have drawn like 3 cards more than us, so... We need a good comeback. We have to draw like Rasa into Endin or something. Ooh, you, you. Yeah, I want to bleed now. And yeah. Um, yeah, no point eating anything. Nope. So what do we do? I like the Berkeley on the empty field so they, he can't trade it easily. 
Can I can see? I don't think it get it gets better. I don't think it gets better. We only play Echo Light if we can like draw it, draw cards by ourselves with with Flash or Holy Smite yeah. or something. And um, they play um Kappa Shadow Priest. So we can't play yeah. Talos, Echo Light and something like that. No, we can only play if we get value directly. So we play like Barkley and Trade, I think. Well it should be fine, yeah. I'm also thinking about like Shadow Vision's power shield because yeah. of the spread. And then draw <laughs> with Cleric. <laughs> Double Raza. What the, <laughs> the fuck? Now we have death. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Because you don't want to play it <laughs> later because it might just die to the death knight. We're going to have to give them a coin. It's almost. Yeah, at one point. Almost 100%, right? What if they just have... Uh, oh, I don't want to sing about that. Maybe the the pin size potion and Cabal. Then we're fucked. That would be pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> Is someone injured? Okay. okay. Job done. So that's Talnos Nova. Yeah, every day. Yeah. We give them a coin, but we cannot avoid that. We give them a coin, we give them a cabal, but I don't think we can avoid that. And once again, we cannot heal anything. Mm. So Acolyte might actually be decent, right? Yeah, if they play cabal, probably. Echolite coin dragon fire, that's so bad. How, how what about Talon Priest Power Shield? <laughs> it's better than the other options, right? We have not really other prayer, right? I would I would do it now. We should start to draw. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay. We can't play Talon or so Echolite. I also think about like Shadow Vision, Spirit Lash, and next turn draw three cards. What do you think? Like Talnos, Echo Light, Loot Hall, next turn, and Lash are on board. We need to. That would be pretty good, yeah. It's a play, right? Yeah. <laughs> Potion of Man is pretty good, too, right? We should play this. Okay. I, I take the Potion. Oh, Alright, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Spirit Dash would be really good. We need to like get some card draw. Oh boy. Oh, that makes me sad. Hmm. So much deeper in their deck. Question is, do we want to? Do we play it now? We can. No, we, I want to play it now. We, we have, want to play it now. We have Shadow or Death. It's it's eight mana. You cannot play it anytime. Yeah. Okay. Just play it. Then pink face. The light has betrayed. Me. Right. Pink face. No. Is yeah. there? A, yeah. It's pink face. I guess. Yeah. I kind of prefer the. Yeah. Pink on the face. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. It's so bad. I'm thinking about Talnos loot or dragon fire or something. <laughs> nah, it's not that it's... good, right? No, it's not good. Just play Talnos, maybe. Hmm. Or, 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 or just play loot order. Yeah. I would just play loot order. So we need to heal ourselves or the Talon Priest. Talon Priest. Yeah, we have to heal ourselves. Ourselves? I, I think we have to heal ourselves because of his hero power. So sure, we get uh, yeah. We have no time. He can always clear our board if he wants, I think, with the hero power. Sure. So we should like stabilize. But 
Yeah, they have more draw, they have the key cards, so doesn't look good. Man, this potion first? Like, we get. Oh, you want to play at least first because you want to get the pack. First. Yeah, why not? Okay, yeah, go, go, go. For it. The order it really doesn't matter to be honest. Then we just play Elise and Creeper and this Potion. Jungle hides many secrets. Okay, so the next ping goes face. <laughs> Can we do here? Should I with death? Uh, at least we can play like Echolite and Thanos now, right? After the potion. Or we just dragon fire and like drop everything. All. You can also believe in Lyra. What do you want to get with about... Lara? I think we wait with. I don't know. Alright. Just go for Eckler Dragon Fire, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it, right? Or do we go for... We could also Fire Thanos Thanos Dragon Fire. Dragon Fire. Yeah. yeah. But, but then yeah, but we get never the draw out of the Eckler, right? May, 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 spirit may... Dash, holy smite. Hmm. Yeah, we'll Spirit Lash. Yeah. But when, when they play nothing, we have nothing to play with Lara, right? Or maybe we top deck ready. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to I go for it. I don't think we have another option. Yeah. Oh, of course it sucks, but there are no... ...any options. Oh... Feels bad, man. At least we have Lyra... Pine size potion of madness. Maybe there's can do any something, but we are so behind. Yep. Okay, that seems probably. Good. Yeah. Could do that. Doomsayer? Yeah, but I'm not sure. Like you said, we don't want to take it too slow, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can just oh, wait. go for the no, you can ping acolyte. Don't you yeah, want ping, to ping, yeah, ping first, yeah, yeah, ping then face. play the Acolyte, then ping the Acolyte, yeah. then Creeper, and then ping the Acolyte. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's just good. That's just good value. Speak to me. The shadows grow short. Oh, whoa. Yeah, and please, Jesus. Yeah, at least we can use this. Yeah, let's start with Lara. Alright, coin trust, right? Yeah, coin. Oh, we, 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 we could. Death, yeah. yeah, well, Inner Fire on Doomsday is pretty could. good too, right? So we play. Yeah, let's do it first. Nah, nah may maybe we get Power Cheat and something like that, right? So we'll go Shadow What Pain yeah. on the. On the 3 5? Yeah. yeah, let's enough fire first. Maybe we get something. But maybe we get um, double double life or power cheat or something like that. Yeah, and then let then we can paint first. Yeah. So, just. Pine size. Pine size and... Yeah, now enough fire. Mind vision? Mind vision, for sure. Oh. We have to. Oh, <laughs> why not early? Yeah, wrong order. Wrong order. <laughs> yeah, it's still a difficult spot here for Tan and Two Beers. They're so far behind, as they already stated, and that Lyra helped a little bit. They had a nice inner fire on that Doomsayer. Uh, but still, I I feel like Maverick and Odemian there. Just too far ahead. And I have a Shadow Word Death 
and a dragon fire potion available for them so they could use whatever they want to they also have the silence so they could go for shadow word death silence lyra to get rid of her and in the meanwhile they're dealing another ton of damage to the face of ten two beers oh, he has like double hp no yeah I, I think it's too late. Yeah, to it's probably that. But there's probably an error not to consider. Hmm. He has what three spells from there? He needs some really, some really good ones. Like double HP and the if he only double the HP, that's not even yeah, that many. He also needs the matter. inner fire, and so yeah. I'd play a blade devour and get the creative healing. Just do the calls. Yeah, sure. Right. Let's do it. Right. Casicus, and pain, and horror. Fuck yeah. I think we are dead next turn, but we can try. So what's the play? We could play Radiant, Shadow Pain, and Hero Says. Isn't, isn't, yeah. isn't, is, it, is it good? No. I think it, that's a bad play. Oh, the we need play. to we heal ourselves, play. right? We need to predict yeah, 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 of next turn. Let's, yeah, let's play it. It's the only play. Poor. <laughs> we are trying. Right, we, we we can we could still win if we get correct a healing potion so next armor? turn. Face yeah first, of course. But do we start with no? We start with the cabal. I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let me change. Do we even go for a free pack with the second elemental? No, that does. Probably. Yeah, that seems okay because if we get the, if we get some cheap spells, we can actually win right off the bat. We just need one cheap spell, actually. We did not get enough spell. Okay. Let's do that. And, uh... So we're one off. <laughs> one minute, yeah, one minute off. we are. So just play the elemental, I guess? In pink face? The shadows grow short! I'm you. I'm Kinda like playing the Spirit Lash here, just so we are safe, if they have okay. something okay, to deal okay. damage. Yeah, sure. And clean Lyra, Lyra then? For one, Why not? For one damage, it's, I think it's okay. Yeah, for two it's okay. Anyway, if they play the potion, yeah, yeah, that's probably... Yeah, let's do Kazakus. Kazakus in two damage and armor, Five. right? Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Just no. Nope. We can get greater healing. With two, two draws. Oh. And yeah, we have to try it. Okay, sure. Boah. Heart of Fire, right? We have no taunts. We need to go Heart of Fire, right? Yeah. Um, do I would just attack the 4 4. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can Potion of Badness uh, Radiant before, right? Yeah. 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 Potion Radiant. Before. Yeah, it's good. Oh wait, wait. We, yeah, we, we are dead. We have yeah. no. Great healing potion thing is right. We have, we have no, we can't create healing anymore. No, sure. <laughs> Just over. Could be good. And rings. There. No, no. Doesn't. We're always dead. I just yeah. trade. Just trade. Maybe they have nothing but we to play. We can only like, like get back. Yeah, the disconnect might be the only way for Ten and Two Bears to still win this. And there's a total and primalist coming down, even granting mind blast, and that finishes the match. It's a three to one scoreline for our Belgium French team.
for Maverick and Odemian. So GG, very well played, very nice and long games, real intense Hearthstone. Uh, you don't see that too often these days, so I, I really like that. And we're going to jump into a quick winner's interview together with Odemian and Maverick. The guys, was pretty important in this series. Congratulations. congratulations! You won uh, the first Thanks. match, and uh, your politeness before the match kind of paid off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Once again, a nice priest yeah, performance. Uh, you were again because I don't know if you know that, but um, Johnny Stone, the guy who was in the first team that got a sweep by by priest, they also lost a three zero to priest. He's playing for Flow Esports, and the team you're playing against now, both of them are part of Flow Esports. So again, oh. they got wiped by by a priest. How good does that feel on a scale from one to ten? I mean, it's, uh, I think it's common thing now to get all killed by yeah. priests. Like, if you just ban Druid, Priest is kind of free yeah. for some all kills. Yeah. I, I think we played pretty good, though. Like, there were a lot of plays that were, like, questionable mm. and... I don't know. I think it, I think it, it was an interesting series. I would totally yeah, especially agree. against the Taunt Warrior. Yeah, against the Control Warrior. I want to talk about one specific situation uh, because it was yeah, game changing. Um, they were playing Dirty Red. Uh, they had the they they stole the Priest of the Feast out of your deck. They were so lucky by doing that. And then they played Dirty Red into Brawl. They had an Acolyte of Pain, so they could have also oh. played Acolyte of Pain into Brawl. Which would have yeah, that's actually what I was afraid of. Yeah, if they played just a three mana minion and brawl, bro, I think we didn't have any good out. Exactly. So yeah. you were kind of lucky on that to win that with the priest, because if you hadn't won that, I don't know if the series would have went in your favor. So that was a yeah. quite an interesting position to go for the Dirty Red. And they were always unclear. Because I feel that's something where the team mechanic comes into play. Because even though you guys were discussing about the place, you always seem to be on the same line, kind of. Uh, but two beers and ten, they were somehow contradicting each other and they were unsure about the place. And then Tan said, okay, but I like Dirty Red more. And two beers was like, ah, but it's dangerous. And I, I feel like that makes you strong working together yeah. as a team. I just feel like we have similar kind of play, mm. like style of play. Yeah, and we play a lot of together to prepare for Dreamax and stuff. So probably it does help. Yeah, yeah we stream like... Uh, we, we stream solo, but we also stream like uh, seven or eight hours uh, together a week. So that just makes us have a good understanding of what the other person's style is. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And also, yeah, Demian, most also importantly, uh, important it's your birthday uh, today. So I totally forgot. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. And yeah, Thanks a just lot. Uh, a nice start to the tournament. You're through to the winner's match, so you're going to play next up. Uh, you're going to face okay. off against uh, Powder in Boston. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break and then we're right back. All right. All right. Yeah, somehow the production still leaves me here. So <laughs> I'm waving to you guys. But yeah, I'd like to take a quick break, set up the players, the, the cameras, because we got to get Powder and Boston back into the business. They will be facing Maverick and Odemian in the winner's match, as you can see below, because there's the bracket. Then afterwards, we will have Game King and Johnny Stone play against two beers. And I am Tom. This is our loser's match. And then it ends for today, because we're going to play the decider match of this group on the 12th of September. So keep that marked in your calendar. And maybe now we can go into a slight break to get the next match fixed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, see you in a bit. <laughs> 